and welcome back to my channel, Glow with Candace. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to see you back, so hit the subscribe button down below to see future videos like this and more by me. And don't forget, hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified for any future uploads of mine. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, first time use, first impression, and review of a waiver. Now, I'm kind of tardy to the party on this trend. This mermaid hair was popular a couple years ago, but that's kind of when I was pregnant, not feeling my greatest, not really up in the, in the know. So, now I am. Fast forward a little bit, and I was looking into a waiver, and this one caught my eye. It was kind of in between a waiver and also like a crimper. So, if you haven't guessed yet, it is the Bedhead Behave Mess Waiver. So I am going to be showing you guys how it looks, unboxing it, and also doing my hair and giving you my first impression and review on this product. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup because today was a busy day with my daughter and I got this in the mail today because it was on sale for $39.99 at Ulta. Normally retails for $44.99. And so I ordered it and it was delivered today and I thought, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this video tonight. So that's why I have no makeup on. Um, my hair is also, I washed it yesterday. So it's a little bit old. <laughs> But that'll be good for styling. I was trying to decide which one to go with and this one is the one that caught my eye for a few different reasons. But one is just look how beautiful this is. If anybody knows me, they know I love pink. And I also just love this ombre effect. I have a couple cups from SLM Simple Modern that is literally in this ombre effect. <laughs> Absolutely love it. When I was looking for a waiver, I didn't want something too bulky. Some of them, the three barrels are just so bulky and I have little hands. I also have bad wrists from my ultrasound job that I've done a few years. I just don't have the, the stamina for my wrist to do that. So I was super excited to see the size of this one compared to some of the other ones. And I was actually debating between this one and I think it's called the Wave to Go or a Wave to Go um, from Bedhead. And that one has like four different settings of different um, waves you can do. However, after looking at all the different ones, it only looked like I would really use like three and four setting. And so to me, it just, didn't feel worth it to purchase um, the adjustable one. So I just went ahead with this one, especially because I loved the design and the color of this one compared to the other one. So I'm just gonna read you a little bit about it um, on the Ulta website. The Mess Behave, a deep barrel designed for speed where it counts quick styling and styles that last all day and night. Explore different styles with this waiver. Go with bold sculpted waves or maybe you're feeling laid back for beachy waves. Um, it's turmaline uh, and ceramic technology. It reduces frizz and produces massive shine to give those tousled waves and curls the perfect touch. Um, deep waver plates for the classic wave style with serious volume. Um, high heat up to 430 second heat up, on off indicator light, barrel locking switch, soft touch design, cool tip for easy handling, and six feet swivel cord. I've never used one of these before, even back in the day, I never crimped my hair. Um, I have naturally wavy hair, I actually brushed it out, um, but um, normally I have a little bit more curl to it. So I thought this would be perfect for my natural hair, especially like sometimes there are parts of my hair that don't wave like I would like. So I thought it would be perfect to go in with this and kind of make it a little bit better looking if I had this product. And also just to do if I brush out my hair and it looks like this and I just want it to look better. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this out. So opened up, and this is the design. This is just beautiful. This ombre effect. Like I said, I have a few cups in this exact color from Simple Modern. I just love this ombre effect. 
and color scheme, but I just love pink in general. So it looks like you have the open and lock here for this to open it, I guess. Um, and then you have the on off button over here on the side. And then the temperature gauge over here, which is high and low, this little scrolly thing. I don't know if I'll be able to tell what temperature it is, so I guess we'll just have to go ahead and plug it in. But like I said, this size is really nice. Some of them are just massive, and I just didn't want anything too big. I like the fact that this is gonna be cool to touch. I'm really big on that stuff. And then the swivel cord is very important as well. So I got it all plugged in, so I'm gonna go ahead and out so I'm turning it on and then high and low so I wonder I gotta read the instructions because I, I don't know if I like the fact that I don't know what the temperature is because I don't want to just go to 400 degrees so after reading the instructions, there's only low, medium, and high heat, but it's weird because there's just a dial, so you don't quite know like what the temperature is. So you can go really high or really low. So it's kind of weird how you don't know exactly. I wish there was like a little indication button because if I open this, oh, yeah, so when you hit the open button, there's no temperature gauge at all that says like how hot it is. So that's a little disappointing. Um, I definitely already feel the heat. So I just went ahead and put it on its lowest setting. Um, it definitely already feels hot enough. I'm gonna put it on lock real quick and I'm just gonna part my hair into two sections for right now. So I placed it on the very lowest setting with this dial. Like I said, there's no indication to know exactly how low that is or what the temperature is. Um, and you can really move it a lot to go high, but you have no idea like where it added it is in the range. So I don't necessarily like that so much. Um, already something I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, I'm gonna try the lowest setting. Um, I have it opened. And I'm kind of wondering, like, which way you go. I feel like, uh, I don't know what ergonomically feels correct, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. I guess I'm gonna try it this way first. I think you're supposed to see the three barrels facing upward from what I've seen on other people, so. Now I have really naturally wavy curly hair, so it's easy for my hair to hold a wave and for it to be wavy. So my hair doesn't feel very warm at all on the lowest setting, and I don't even know what temperature it is, and it did this, which isn't that great. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more heat. I think this gauge is gonna be not so fun to have because I honestly don't know what temperature it is and I feel like you can easily bump into it and scroll it down because it's just right below here where your hand is. Right there, so. Is it worth the cuteness factor though? Maybe. If it performs well, I just gotta figure out which, like, how warm to have it, I guess. But it's kind of hard to tell when 
I don't know how it is. Hmm. Maybe I'm not holding it the right way. I feel like this isn't. I'm gonna try it this way and see. isn't doing a very good job. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit more. My hair should be... doing better with the heat so I definitely needed to turn it up a lot more but like I said it's really hard to tell what the temperature is because it's just a little scrolly thing that doesn't tell you how warm it is so it's kind of annoying honestly this is super easy to use though I will say I just uh, have to figure out the temperature thing, like, where to scroll it to. Too, I really need to squeeze down on it. Maybe it's because I don't have it hot enough. So I'm gonna try and heat it up a little bit more because I don't really feel like it's holding that well. And I have naturally curly hair and I don't feel like it's, I mean, back here looks better, but I also like pushed it really hard. This part is like struggling. This was my first time using it and just any kind of waver, to be honest. And my hair is naturally curly, holds a wave real easily. I shouldn't say really curly, but more wavy with some curl, not coily. But I don't know. Um, I had to like turn this on almost full blast heat for it to get like this. And I feel like there is some wave, but it's not exactly what I was wanting. I was kind of hoping for more of a mermaidy, and I tried and tried and tried. It just didn't really want to. I don't know if I did it wrong, or it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to use, which I don't know. I'm almost a little bit disappointed with this. Like, it's beautiful, and I also didn't like the heat dial. It was hard to know what temperature I was really at, and I felt like my hair really didn't hold anything until I was on full blast high, which is very unusual for me. I normally don't have to have my hair at that level. Like when I straighten my hair or I curl my hair, I use it about 273.10. So that's strange to me, so it makes me wonder is this heating up properly? Did I do this correctly? I mean, it's holding, but it really didn't do anything until I blasted it up. And I really had to like press down hard too. So overall opinions, I hate the temperature gauge on this. Absolutely hate it. Don't know what that's all about. Also, I hated how I had to literally turn it up full blast to get this, and it's not exactly what I wanted. I thought it would be more wavy. Um, 
Like some it did a good job, but then it, and some it didn't. And my hair's naturally wavy. Um, it is. I it thought it would look more mermaidy, to be real honest. I know my hair's a little bit frizzy because it was just like day of, but my hair holds a curl really easily. So I'm a little disappointed. Like I kept having to go over this stuff here, and it still just didn't. It didn't do a good job. So with my kind of hair, I'm disappointed with how this performed because then it makes me wonder like, okay, so on other people who don't hold a curl as much, how is this gonna perform for them? Because obviously it didn't, I mean, there is some, but not enough. Maybe it's the price point that I paid for, but I swore everybody raved about these products. So, and it looked different on other people's hair that I watched, so wasn't as mermaidy for me. I don't know, I might need a different a hair tool, a different hair tool, because this isn't exactly what I wanted. And even though I had day old hair, it shouldn't look like this because when I curl my hair with my curling wand or my curling iron, it doesn't look like this. Like, I feel like this kind of looks not necessarily bad. Granted, I'm not wearing makeup, so obviously maybe I'm being a little more harsh about my hair because I don't have a pretty canvas. <laughs> but I just feel like there should be more of a wave. Like over here, this struggled and it shouldn't have struggled. My hair holds. I feel like it could be better. So I'm disappointed because I do love the color, but I don't know if it's what I'm wanting. I might need another hair tool to be real honest. And it's sad too because I love how not thick it was. Like I was thinking like, wow, how nice is this to hold? And it's not too bulky. Um, I went pretty fast, which was amazing. I went very fast with this. Faster than I go with anything. Um, and that was even going through my hair multiple times to try and get more of a, a wave. So that is a real perk that I'm I think I'm gonna love this whole mermaid look, but I don't know if this is going to give me the mermaid look I'm looking for. <sighs> I really wanted to love this. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I mean, it, there's something here, but I was looking for more of something, if that makes sense. Thanks for stopping by with Gold Candice. I hope you enjoyed this first time use, unboxing, first impression, and review of the Bedhead Mess Behave Waver. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and want to see future videos like this and more by me, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back here. But until next time, bye.